Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I actually wanted to talk to you about the energy. Um, I missed the last energy forecast which was for the new moon that we had a couple of weeks ago and today we had a full moon this morning and um, well morning my time anyway and that was uh, yeah it was it's quite an intense moon. I think in many ways the intensity is not felt today but it would have been felt to the build up to the energies that we've had right now because the energies that have been building up to today have a lot to do with everything that's been going on in the last four to six weeks I would say maybe even eight weeks um, and so it's been a culmination and what a culmination it is all right so let's get into it so today we had a full moon in Aquarius and this full moon in Aquarius would have been um, building up for us we, we would have been feeling this energy come towards us for quite a few weeks now already and the way in which we've experienced this is at the beginning of um, July and at the end of June the last two weeks of June and the first few weeks of July we would have felt a great deal of restlessness a, re a real restlessness it might have been difficult to meditate it might have been difficult to just stay calm to be able to make a decision you might have felt that you are just unable to make a decision because so many things have been brought to the fore and you need to think about quite a lot of things and then what's happened is that as the uh, the weeks have gone by as we've come closer to this full moon and as you would have seen in the as a marking as a turning point at the the new moon that was experienced two weeks ago there would have been quite a lot of turbulence quite a lot of uh, restlessness but more outwardly shown so the restlessness that we experience in June and the beginning of July was more inward it was more um, a feeling of of being unsettled in oneself but what it's it's translated to as we've come closer to this moon is this feeling of restlessness and um, feeling that things are not okay translate uh, outside of us and you might have seen this in in world events um, the floods in in Germany, the um, the the unrest in South Africa, and um, you know, very various ways in which this kind of unrest has found a way to demonstrate itself. Now, what does that mean for the individual? I think that for us, what it means is that we're coming to a point where it's necessary to understand ourselves a little bit better. And it's almost like there is this um, need to recognize what is necessary and what is simply a luxury. What is, what is it that we can't live without? And what is, what is it that we place value on? Do we place value on that which is what we actually need, what we cannot live without? Or do we place value on that, that which um, is not really necessary, uh, not really important? you know, um, how much of time and energy and resources do we spend on those things which are simply fill-ins for a life that is led, that is trying to uh, survive society as it is right now. And so this time that we're in right now, this energy that we're in right now, I can't talk that much about the Aquarius full moon because I'm not an astrologer and there are um, pretty good channels out there uh, where you could find some of this information some channels are well just some of the stuff that said just doesn't resonate with me but um i think uh like astrolada for instance she's if you can get her uh broadcast her when she's speaking she's actually making you know what she says about the the, the new moon oh uh, sorry this full moon this aquarius full moon is very much in resonance with with a kind of uh ideas or the energy that I'm picking up about about it as well and you can go and, and check her out uh, if you'd like but um, yeah there are a couple of others as well I haven't had a chance to listen to what people have had to say really uh, but I assume that there are a couple of astrologers out there that are on the same wavelength as I am in terms of um, being able to interpret the skies in a way that is uh, um, that's um, congruent with uh, the energy as I read it. 
and so I'm just an energy reader I can tell you what's going on I can tell you I can see what's happening I can see where we headed to and I can also tell you how to navigate these energies that we are going through right now but I'm not using astrology to be able to do that I'm just feeling into the energy as I do as a psychic uh, clairvoyant and as a healer yes so um so what is it that we need to do what is it that this moon brings to us well I think it brings to us um something that's been coming towards us for quite a long time now and if you look at this moon you can't quite look at it uh, on its own we can't really see it as something that's just by itself it's a result of a uh, a lot of different energy buildup that's taken place from the end of 2019 and uh, for some of you, you might feel a throwback to something that happened two years ago or two and a half years ago if you do please comment down below I want to hear from you I want to hear how you experience this energy as well but um, what I'm trying to say is that this energy buildup that we have right now has been coming to us for quite a long time and where it's taking us to is actually more relevant than what it has to say for us right now so you know we could look at the surface um, and the more um, kind of um, in the face stuff that's going on right now and understand it from that perspective and then as far as that is concerned I would say well things are going to, going to get a bit calmer for a bit uh, it is the calm before the storm uh, the storm is a long storm that will rage a long long time but in the meanwhile we have a calm before the storm and what is it what is important right now is to be able to focus inward in so to be able to find what one looks seeks outside of you inside of you because that's going to be what's important in the future and this uh, full moon today has brought exactly that it's also an opportunity to be able to focus on where it is that one can develop oneself in relation to the world how is it that one can develop oneself in relation to the world now I'm not talking about projects I'm not talking about work I'm talking about how can you uh, actually survive in this world with yourself and how, what is it that you bring to this world what is your contribution to this world and this is where it comes to soul work it comes directly back to soul work if there was any time ever that this has been more pronounced I am not aware of it right now more than anything it is time to look inward to look at what is it that your soul is asking you to do what is your path here what is it that you need to do here before you leave this planet in this form in this form that you've entered in this energy form that you have embodied how and what do you need to do in order to be satisfied on a soul level so what is it that the energy that is innate to you that is you actually wants you to do right now because very often we come here and we find ourselves uh, well I mean we come here and we come into this planet and we find ourselves distracted by life by society by the rules by government governments by um, what we need to do you know we need to go to school we need to be there for 12 years we need to uh, go, you know seek some kind of training or higher education we need to seek employment we need to contribute to society by paying taxes by uh, working in a capacity that fulfill one fulfills one but is also helping society progress and so forth okay so all of that takes one sometimes closer to oneself and closer to one's soul or it takes one in a very different direction it really depends on what your focus is and what your priority is and this is what this moon is about this moon is asking you what is your priority what is it that you have been focusing on and where in which direction has it taken you and then it's also saying well hang on a second let's just bring things back to basic uh, basics let's just bring things back to what is it that you can't live without what is it that you need what is it that you can truly contribute not in the face of, um, of being able to earn a monthly salary but what is it that you can truly contribute that you would need if there was no such thing as a monthly salary if there was no such thing as a job that you went to if there was no such thing that uh, that allowed you to live in this constructed society in the way it has and so this moon here 
is, is talking about that. And I think that the next few moons are also going to be referring to that. It's also going to be hinting at that or trying to get you more and more to understand what is it that you need to be doing here and how is it that you're going to be doing that here how is it that you're going to be able to live as you go along and thrive and also be true to your soul because that is the only function that we have here on this planet it's the only function that we have is to be true to oneself it's to be true to one's soul all right so that's one of the points uh, i think that everything else kind of fades in comparison um because everything else is just sort of arbitrary and, you know, just um, things that you might find that uh, as you go along in this in this next week that you might be able to develop better routines for yourself. You might be able to take on a more health healthy routine for yourself. You might find that you are feeling uh, not always as sociable as you maybe once was, but that you need uh, quite a lot of time for yourself in order to be able to feel what is true for you or hear what is true for you or hear your own voice come through and, and speak to you and, and actually, you know, just listen to that and listen to that and just be quiet with that for a while. So that is also what this moon would have brought about. But I think more importantly, what it's doing is it's kind of preparing us for something that's much greater. And so I want to talk about that. So if you are interested in what is greater and what's going on um, from this moon or what, what is being shown to us as far as the energy is progressing and as we go. Okay, so sorry about that. I was actually just... Um, I'm shooting on a device and I got a call through this device. So uh, apologies for that. I usually put it on flight mode, but I forgot to do that this time. So what I was trying to say is that I would like to be able to dedicate the, uh, the next part of this video to uh, talking about how, w what is the energy that's coming forth in the future and how is it going to translate for us in, term, in the long term, okay? So for those of you who are quite satisfied with just finding out about what is important uh, as it stands right now you, and you're not really interested in, in, you know, in the long term stuff, you're welcome to, to exit the video at this point, but by all means stay around and have a listen if you're interested. So as a psychic um, and as a healer, I get to see quite a lot of things as, um, um, you know, about the world, about how things work, how energy works, how energy is transformed and how we all come together uh, in a way and in which way we come together and how we, we uh, work with each other. And so... Uh, I'm talking about energetically, I'm talking about greater forces, I'm talking about uh, angelic forces, I'm talking about re things such as reincarnation, etc. These are all questions that I have had to question uh, from uh, as I've gone along because the reality or what I've seen energetically is quite different from what I've actually um, or what some of the major religions teach in, in, in this world. And what people believe and so that is one uh, aspect of it but one of the things that have come has come up recently is um, this kind of energy that we're going into and I talked about about it uh, last year around March I talked a bit about it then and I'm going to talk about it again uh, today because there is a very um, clear path ahead which the energy is pushing along and we, regardless of whether we want to be on that path or not, we are going to be on that path. Now, one may say, oh, all this well with the world and it's all good and I'm just going to focus on what's positive and you can go along with that. But uh, that is not necessarily the truth of what's actually going on. Yes, you may take that approach or that attitude and have that attitude to life and that's really great. That's going to work for you. But it's really uh, putting aside what's going on really in the world. It's almost like an ostrich head in the sand. Now it might work for you, however, and f and that is a redeemable uh, quality. If it's going to work for you, then it's okay for it to be. But there is another reality and there is another stream 
uh, or a current rather that we've been pushed along and I think it's important to talk about that because this Aquarius full moon right now is actually uh, touching on that and it's highlighting that it's turning it's like a torch that it, that's focusing on that it's like kind of you know bringing that into focus and asking us to look at this path that we're going along and what does it entail and where is it taking us so let's get into it so I think here what is important as, as to understand that as we go along in the future the most important thing is that our autonomy is going to be controlled only by us okay our individual sovereignty our um, um, yeah our autonomy as beings can only be controlled by us and the way in which we can do that is by understanding what it is that we need to know in order to be able to get in touch with ourselves in order to be able to get in touch with who we are as souls who we are as individuals that uniqueness that you have that every single being has is what we need to access in order to be able to be true to ourselves and stay true to ourselves because it's that which is being attacked okay so this has been a, a process for quite uh, some time and I think that we've been corralled into being in a society where uh, we are made to be quite similar to each other in order to be able to ex coexist but the way to survive what's going to be coming towards us uh, or to get through what's coming what we're going to be experiencing in the next years is to be able to really identify that which is unique what is unique about you and to be able to work with that and celebrate that and acknowledge that and not try to put that away and not try to think of that as being part of your shadow but rather, rather really understanding who you are in terms of your self of your being of your soul i'd go as far as to say as your soul and that's another the second point here it's really important right now and i touched about this in the first half of this video but it's really important right now to be able to understand what is it that your soul wants you to do right now on this planet what is it that your soul is guiding you to do and i would recommend highly recommend that you sit down and meditate and connect with your higher self connect with your soul connect with your being the being that guides you your essence connect with your essence to understand how it is that you need to go ahead because you know you could go and um, seek the services of a psychic uh, to help you or you can go and seek the services of a counselor or somebody else who is uh, you know a, a financial consultant or something like that to be able to advise you on how to go ahead however there's nobody else who could help you more than you can help yourself and so I would highly uh, recommend that you engage yourself in this way and that you actually practice your engaging yourself in this way so that you have you formed a better relationship to yourself and and this is not about being selfish it's not about narcissism in any way or form this is simply about being guided by one's own voice as opposed to a collective voice which is going to um, be working pushing you in a particular way it's like you're part of a current and you're not going to be able to fight against it if you don't seek your own voice okay and so the the third part of this is once you've seeked your own voice once you've understood what it is that you need to do here once you've understood why it is that you need to do what is required what, what it is what it is that you have done or what has been required of you then you need to understand what is your role and how are you going to communicate that with the outside world if you're going to communicate that with the outside world is it necessary to communicate that with the outside world and how is it that we're going to are you going to move forward what is likely going to happen as you go ahead in the next two years in the next 20 years in the next 25 years in the next 50 years in the next 250 years what's going to be working what's going to be coming what we're we working towards is actually um understanding oneself and respecting oneself as much as one respects and understands another and not some kind of centralized governance and not some kind of um uh, it's not a feudal system either or anything like that it's something that where we as individuals are sovereign and we understand our sovereignty and it's really the true namaste concept you know the divine in me acknowledges celebrates cherishes 
the divine in you and uh, the relationship in order to be able to do that you first need to be connected to yourself you first need to understand yourself you first need to disengage whatever the other horse that you've been riding and and come to yourself and it's quite a quietening process that happens when you do that it's not something that's dramatic or um you know just it's not fireworks it just simply quietened coming down to yourself now over the last decade uh two decades um the esoteric world or the esoteric ideas uh, things such as kundalini rising, uh, chakra alignments, all of these things have been, been um, become a tool, it's, become a, it's been utilized, it's become a, uh, it's had a commercial aspect to it. And what it often does is that it m- removes one from oneself. You know, when you go on, uh, on a YouTube channel like this one and somebody else is telling you what you need to be doing with your life and you take heed and you do that, at that moment, you are not listening to yourself. You are not hearing what, you're, what you are saying. You're quietening your voice and allowing something else. Now, this is a way that we have been conditioned. Okay, we've been conditioned to understand and to continue in this way. And this is highly problematic. It's extraordinarily problematic because ultimately, uh, when we do this, we're shutting down our own voice and each and every one of us, all the beings on this planet, not just human beings, each and every one of us has something to contribute to this planet and something to bring here and something to share with one another. So we have all something that others need and that is the reason that we're here and it is extraordinarily important to be able to identify what that is so that one can share that with the world and not to take heed from others and also not to ascribe to a commercialized form of esotericism or um, you know understanding what it is that uh, th- that one, one thinks is necessary or one thinks is the path ultimately you don't need anyone to show you the path you have to show yourself the path you have to create the path because only you can create the path for you nobody else can do that not some monk or not some um, sadhu or not some uh, president or or not some um, organization like the world health organization or anyone else nobody is going to be able to tell you what you need to do for yourself only you can actually know what it is that you need to do for yourself now there's a bit of a problem with that because until now we've been conditioned to be sheep to follow and for the greater good and this is what is noble and so when you find that you are starting to think for yourself and starting to hear your own voice and starting to take action Uh, because of that voice that you've heard, because of what you've now come to understand, what you're going to find is that that you're going to encounter a bit of resistance. And that is a a subject that I'm going to have to address in another video. Let me know if you'd like me to address that. Let me know if you'd like me to talk about that at all, or if you'd like me to talk about more of these kind of issues. But what I think is ultimately important, and I'm just going to summarize and and round this video up. What I think is ultimately important is that we are being pushed by a current. That is important. This moon that we've had today is putting a spotlight on that. It's almost like a lighthouse turning around to kind of put a spotlight on that path. And it says, well, what is your function in that path? What is your function in that current, in that stream? Are you fighting against it? Are you going with it? Are you resonant with yourself as you do that? And are you being true to yourself? Is this your sole purpose? And if it isn't, then it's time to get out of there. And it's time to actually do something different. And then that is up to you because you are the one who can uh, define your own path. And it's really up to you to listen to your own self. And um yeah, I just want to say this one other thing. You know, many think that the way out of this or to work against this is to come together and fight against someone, to topple a government, to topple an ideology. 
it isn't like that necessarily. While that may seem to be the way forward or while that may seem to be the most effective means of um, creating peace or coming to a place where people ha have more equality, that isn't the case. It really, it really is about you moving along and you lighting up, you lighting up. So it's like you are this, um, this being that's marching along, a soldier that's marching along on that stream in that current. And there's a moment that you have, it's like a realization and then you light up. <laughs> and once you've lit, and lit up, once you've lit up, there is, um, well, there's a couple of things that happens. But firstly, you are, once you've had that realization, nobody can take it away from you. Okay. But the second thing is that once you have that, it makes it easier for others to have it as well. Okay, so it's not about coming together and we don't necessarily need to communicate with each other about this. You know, in a, some time from now, this kind of communication may not be available any longer. And so the, it's necessary for you to develop this relationship to yourself only and to understand and to hear your own voice and to be able to connect with others um, telepathically. Uh, as it were. But then also, well, that's a different subject and that's a different video. But I think that ultimately the kind of um, the kind of communication we're going to have with each other is one of resonance. Do we resonate with one another? How do we come together? How do we work together? How do we create something together? And so ultimately, if you are for destruction or if you for self gain only, then you're going to resonate with others like that for you. And you're going to find yourself in resonance ultimately anyway. And you, it's up to you to decide where you go to and how you unfold as we go along. But the most important thing is that we are in the stream. We are in this current and it's important to understand that. And along the ways, we are going to get markers. You know, there's going to be a planetary markers. There's going to be our celestial body like the moon um, and the sun flares, etc. There are several markers along the way. And if you can read them, well, then you know a little bit more about it. But um, it's not so important to necessarily know exactly what these bodies are trying to tell you or how it is that or what is it that's going on. What is more important is that you go inward and you'll be able to access that stuff in you at in a split second. If you just have the if you go into yourself and you have a moment where you're truly connecting to yourself, I'm not talking about listening to a meditation from somebody else necessarily. I'm not talking about connecting to, you know, the light or the angels or something like that. I'm talking about you actually just going in and connecting to yourself because that is a voice that's desperate to be heard right now. That voice that's in you that hasn't had a chance to speak out loud for that light bulb to come along, along and light up. And um, yeah, and I'm going to leave it there for today. I think that's been fairly uh, intense, perhaps. Let me know how you find that and what you think about that. And let me know um, about, you know, what your feelings are and what your voice is telling you and what is it that you've discovered along the way. I'll be very happy to read your comments and um, yes, I also, a quick announcement for those of you who've made it this far, I just have been so incredibly busy or distracted and I haven't been able to get out those videos that I shot for you earlier, a couple of months ago, but I'm going to be able to get them out this week finally. So I just need to edit a couple more of them and I'll be able to put them online and I hope I'll be able to do more of that in the near future. I haven't forgotten about you. I did take into account the, um, messages or the questions that you've given me and I have shot some of those videos and it's just a matter of being able to edit it and upload it. Okay, so I am wishing you all a very lovely rest of your weekend whenever you get this video and whenever you listen to it, may you have a blessed week ahead and um, yes, stay safe and stay healthy and stay well and stay centered, I think, is what's important as we go ahead, even though that's yeah, that's uh, another term that one could discuss, uh, discuss, sorry, <laughs> and, um, and work with, and we'll do that another time. In the meanwhile, 
Blessings abound from Kismet Rising and much love from me to you all.